Hey, welcome to or welcome back to the channel. 2012 Ram 1500. Should apply the same from 08 to 18. Getting ready to replace the factory dash speakers. So these guys up here, getting ready to replace those guys. Try to position this camera while I work and do this, but gonna need you a trim removal tool or something like this to get this out. So let's position this camera and try it. You can come from the side over here. I know there's other videos of this, but I'm going with a specific different um, different speaker. So I'm going to pry this up and just work my way around until it pops out. So let's keep working. There we go. There we go. Slide her out. It's got sleeves on the front here. So you just pull it straight out. And I'm hoping the one that I went with goes and fits in there yeah so let's see if it does all right show you what i went with all right so i decided to go with these scar audio tx 35s and they're rated for 60 watts rms these guys right here for on and let's show you what they look like all right pull one out there we go Looks good so far. Oh my goodness, yes. Very nice. Nice big magnet. All right, so since we see this guy, you're gonna need a seven mil, I do believe. And let's compare these speaker sizes. So we're back up in here. See if I can lean this on here. Some kind of way to position this. Okay, so we have our seven mil. Check your ratchet or your wrench for righty tighty lefty loosey. And see what this upgrade does. Let's get it on there. There we go. Trying to get it loose enough. There we go. Let's get this guy loose. Hopefully I can spin it in my hand, if not, man. Yep, I can. Now I was gonna have to take my socket off and use that guy. Man, it's a very tedious spot. Let's work with this one. That one's still kind of tight. All right, let's use the socket. Still a little tight because it's going in on the plastic. I think I can get it from there. All right, that's one. Put that one in a safe place. Let's go to the other one. And that's going to be real tedious to get that. It's already loose enough. I just got to work it here, hopefully. Felt loose enough, but it's not. I might have to still use the ratchet. So let's do it. Might be getting a magnet to make sure I can get this back there. See if I can work it up now. Nope, it's pretty tight, so let's keep spinning. circular part on the screw you can grip it 
and it spins with it. It's not your regular washer, it's built on there. And it's still pretty tight. I need to uh, switch to my 7 mil ratchet wrench crescent boy. See if I can get it. There we go. Alright, that's two. Just pull this guy up. And you might need to buy some connectors because this wire is pretty short. So, and I don't know if this speaker's going to fit down in there. Let's disconnect this guy. There's a push tab up under there. It's pushing and pulling. If I can get to her. Feels like it's on the back over here. Let's see if we can pop this in and slide it out. it doesn't go anywhere just leave it right there all right so let me get my connector piece that I ordered for this because it's real tedious and you're not gonna be able to really splice in right there because of where it's located so give me a second be right back make sure that's matched up all right so you're gonna need to buy you some connectors like this they come with your specific year make and model and this is the number for the Ram 1500 2012 so, got this guy. I already verified it was the right one and snapped this guy in up here. So, yeah, got that guy to snap in. Gives you a lot more wire to work with. Now, I'm trying to see if this speaker sits in here. Hopefully, it does. Make sure this phone is stable. I hate when I lose my positioning. All right, let's see if it fits now. That should be okay. Let's see if that'll work right there. All right. Now, the height on this guy is quite different. So, and the magnet size is bigger, but hopefully the diameter of the hole that sits in there because it calls for three and a half. And let's see if this cover is going to sit on here okay. And we might have some blockage from this cover. Yeah, so... Might have some, might not. Let's see how it sits in here. Oh, it fit. All right. And if the cover's gonna go on great. All right, let's pull it back out. Give her some wiggles. There we go. All right, so, sorry about that, gentlemen and ladies. All right, so, since I know that fits in there, and let's do another comparison with this magnet and stuff. All right, let's look at the quality of this speaker compared to the other one, okay? Look at this. This is a 15 watt speaker. This one is rated for 120 watts max, 60 watts RMS. TX35 is going in this guy. Look how crispy this speaker is. All right, so I'm happy it fits. About to connect this guy up. And let's drop her in. Well, before we drop her in, we're going to connect it up, and after we do so, let's get this camera to sit good. Alright, so I know I'm going to have to buy a new tripod or something. Alright, so we're going to just leave it on the dash after we connect this, just to make sure it's working properly. These are real close to the speaker. Let's make sure... We're on there, good. And I'm gonna tilt it out a little bit. And do the same to this one. Just grip it. Just a little bit on there. And see if I can tilt this out with my fingernail a little bit. That rubber around the magnet, touching on that a little bit. Hopefully, I got that enough to slide her on there. If not, I might have 
have to use a screwdriver to open this guy up so oh okay there we go all right so let's set this on the dash and yeah, let's make sure we got power this thing to USB so I don't get no copyrights for any music all right Let's try to get this to load up so we can get some sound I already upgraded my other speakers all around you can see my video with the Kenwood door speakers I upgraded to all right it sounds pretty good let's uh, find me a file real quick Got a nice little sound coming out there. now and I squeeze these all the way back up and drop this guy in so I gotta do this for the other side and these sound awesome I'm glad they fit in these got a little adjustment on here to where you can kind of rotate it to fit with your uh, to fit with your uh, holes up here for your screws Let's make sure those is nice and tight and snug yes they are all right let's work this wire down around this piece here it's gonna go behind this like that and we see the way I sit our speaker all right I think that's just a rest spot for it to sit in there so we're going custom so let's get it in there all right so we got a little niblet on the side this guy right here a little niblet so let's work this speaker in a circle a little bit to get it to line up with the holes and if it doesn't line up with the holes, that's okay. I'm talking about far as the nibble it. All right, so I think we're good on the set. Let's get a screw. Hopefully I don't drop it. And let's get our first one in. Let's see if it's set. Feels like it's going. And then it doesn't. Let me back it up. All right, so you see where I'm at? I gotta see where I'm at. Let's see, where's my hole? Okay, it's over there. All right, so now let me get it in there at least. Is it going? Yeah, it's going. All right, so that one started, but it feels sideways, so let's back it up a little bit. a sec i'm gonna check my hole be right back it felt like it was going in the angle but i'm hand tightening it and it's going in so it might just have a little slant to it like that when you're doing it let me try to get this one way up in the window back here in there and that's the one i can barely see so let me get that settled get that in there it's not gonna be too hard let's see if i can get it to drop in there and i don't want to drop it so let me get that in there and I'll be right back. All right, so we got her nice and firm in there, nice and tight. So let's see if this cover gives me any problems sliding it in over this little hump spot. But I think we're good. It's got a little area, but let's see what it does. 
Alrighty. That is awesome. It was able to go in. Let's find us something to listen to real quick. All right, so I'm gonna close this door. Haven't done the passenger side yet, but let's see what these guys sound like. Start it over. so we don't run down the battery of course but anyway yeah these guys right here pretty amazing i like the way they sound i believe they're gonna last through time i don't plan on upgrading these guys but i've done all my door speakers you can uh, look that up it's the kenwood uh i believe 6996 uh 700 watt five way six by nine so fronts are six by nine doors rear doors are six by nines as well so yeah tuning in i know this video is a little longer than other ones but and there's other videos like this with this same uh installation but i went with a, a different speaker brand so hopefully this helps you out on the purchase on your upgrade i'm just glad the tip of the cone of the speaker was able to sit in there nice and flush and i was able to put my cover over there without a hump so yeah hopefully this helps you out on the purchase please hit the thumbs up like and subscribe and as always russ is the enemy on these things so be safe and hopefully life is going well for you and keep living it and to the next video i'm out <laughs>